My name is Danielle Lockwood and I went to Obanzi Valley High School. I came to manufacturing um, starting off as a temp. I started as a receptionist and slowly worked my way up back into manufacturing. So I went to college at COD for a little bit, um, hated it, didn't like anything about it, so I decided to go a different route and start working right away. Um, so I only finished about half a year of college and then I decided to come to Fabric Images. Uh, the thing I like most about my career in manufacturing is working with the people and kind of getting the hands-on experience. Uh, you know, every day is something different. Um, I love seeing how things come to life. You know, one of our biggest things is we love to see your vision come to life and that's exactly what we do and it's the best part of my job. So, you know, my day starts off as, you know, scheduling, getting everybody prepared for their day. Um, and then throughout the day I'm kind of checking in on things, making sure that the communication lines are constantly open, that everything, you know, everybody has what they need to move forward and be successful for our days, making sure that all of our projects are on the dock on time and perfect. Um, so that's really where my day is, plus a whole bunch of chaos in between there, but um, for the most part it's just kind of making sure everything's in line, making sure everybody's okay and that we are all working towards the same goal every day. Being a woman in manufacturing, I've noticed, is sometimes difficult, um, you know, especially when you get on the phone with clients and they don't expect to speak to a woman. Um, but it's empowering for me because I do know what I'm talking about and I can speak on their level. Um, so I love it. It's very empowering, especially for all the other women back in, in manufacturing, especially that work with me. It's nice to, you know, empower them as well and tell them, hey, you know, it's not just a man's world. You know, the women are coming up now this year and, and the years to come and, you know, just being better at manufacturing and being really, really you know, they add a lot to it. Um, there are a lot of opportunities now for women in manufacturing. Um, you know, we have a whole bunch of our seamstresses and now there's so many training tools and so many classes you can take that just about anybody can do it. Very simple, um, it, a lot of them, it, there is training, but as long as you can get through that, I mean, it's smooth sailing through there. Students in high school today should be interested in manufacturing. It teaches you a lot, you know, in different aspects of life. It teaches you, you know, working with others is huge. You work with a lot of other people, um, it's a very busy environment, so you're constantly moving, you know, the work ethic, the hours are early, you want to get in and out very early and, and early to end your day because it's hot back there. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of great opportunities can come from that and you can do a lot of different things with that as well. Right now, I plan to go in manufacturing. I, I want to go up. I'm the production manager right now, so obviously my next step is, who knows, CEO, executive vice president, who knows. But um, obviously something in that role. I love what I do right now, so I don't you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy, I'm content because there's so much more to do and change in this industry. Um, so right now I'm content, I'm excited, but who knows, maybe CEO one day of my own company? Who knows? Uh, Fabric Images has done a whole bunch of cool things. We've done Dr. Pepper for the Dallas Cowboys Stadium. We've done the Zaha that was down in Chicago Millennium Park. Um, we actually have a really cool exhibit in uh, the Planetarium in Chicago as well. Uh, just a lot of museum exhibits. We did do a human genome exhibit in Smithsonian. So we do a bunch of fun things, not just trade shows, but we have retail environments, museum work, um, you know, anything, you name it. I mean, anything that you can imagine fabric being a part of, we can do it, and we will. Uh, another part of my job is finding good, skillful recruits that we can bring a part of our team, make a part of our team, and we are also hiring right now. So if you need a job or looking for something, give us a call. A typical day at Elgin Sweeper involves me dealing with getting materials to our facility. And materials I mean by individual component parts that are purchased, whether it be a nut, or a bolt, um, electronics are a lot of the items that I purchase, switcher, switches, rockers, um, panels that go into our end assemblies. And then I also purchase uh, many other items such as um, brushes and plastic belts and paint. So my key role involves making sure that those individual parts or commodities are here at the facility and available for production on time. The appeal of manufacturing started for me very early in college. Um, I initially actually started off in engineering and an academic advisor suggested that I branch over to the more business aspect of, um, of, of engineering, which I consider to be manufacturing. I like this area because I get an opportunity to interact with a lot of people. I work with a lot of different products. You have to really make a lot of decisions and act fast on your feet. And a day to me is like a Rubik's Cube. You're really trying to figure out what the puzzle is on a daily basis and try to make things fit. So, uh, My favorite part about the job um, that I enjoy is that I get a lot of flexibility, a lot of freedom to try a lot of different things. 
So, you know, for example, one day I may decide that for a specific part, we're going to have X amount of safety stock, and safety stock means the extra stock that we have on hand, and I have the freedom to make changes in how I approach that. So what I like is the ability to change the approach and to be able to integrate and to work with different people. Was my job something that I anticipated long ago? Um, not exactly, and I think that's with most um, careers or professions. As a young person, you kind of have a vision of a position, and as you grow and age into it, it um, becomes something even more. And so it's, to be honest, more than I imagine being in the manufacturing field would ever be. What do I think about being a woman in a traditionally male field? Um, it has been a very interesting experience. Um, for the most part, it's been very pleasure pleasurable. There have been some challenges, obviously, as a woman, but um, it has not been able to, to stop me at any point. Although I work in industrial manufacturing now, I've had opportunity to work in cosmetic and chemical manufacturing, aerospace manufacturing, and automotive manufacturing. So I've had an opportunity over my 15-year career to be able to do a lot of things. And being a woman, I believe, is only a plus because women bring a different viewpoint and standing to um, the operations themselves. So advice for young people looking to enter into this field, I would say keep an open mind about any type of career choice that you may be interested in. Um, I know when some people think of manufacturing, they think of an old, dark, lit plant, but there are so many different environments that you work, can work in from a manufacturing standpoint. Not only that, there are a lot of jobs associated with manufacturing, whereas, for example, I deal with purchasing, I'm issuing a lot of orders. A lot of my time is in the office, but I have a direct um, feed to the manufacturing line. So there are so many additional jobs that are created by the whole manufacturing um, sector. So I say be open, be willing, and try different things. Try something that is unheard of. And be the first in your family. I was the first in my family to go into purchasing. Be the first to, to branch off and do something different. Um, the schooling I had, I actually graduated, I'm originally from Detroit, Michigan, so I graduated from Refra High School. I actually was co-valedictorian at, at that school, and, and so I proceeded on to an engineering school, which I didn't actually, to be honest, didn't like as much. And so after the engineering school, I went on to Michigan State, where I graduated with a degree in supply chain management. Um, I would say I think that area going to that school has been a big success, but I think anyone, regardless of whether or not they have a college degree or not, can um, migrate over to this field of supply chain management and find their niche. Hello, my name is Miguel Velasquez. I am project manager in the engineering department at Hoffer Plastics. My main responsibilities is project management, um, basically responsible for the project from the beginning, the concept to the end. My typical day is not consistent at all. It varies from time to time. Uh, basically, it entitles communication with plant personnel, customer, uh, and a lot of uh, basically coordinating resources to get the job done. Uh, the high school I went to is uh, Gage Park High School in the south side of Chicago. I went to uh, Northern Illinois University in the uh, engineering technology department. A career in manufacturing was exactly what I wanted to do uh, since day one. Uh, I guess basically ever since I was a child, uh, I'd love to tinker with uh, toys and take them apart and see how it worked and eventually ask the question why. Why did, uh, did it break so easy? And from there I, I took it apart and, uh, and eventually constructed my own, manufactured my own if you will, and uh, in, enjoyed it ever since. One of the things I enjoy uh, the best about my job is the interaction with people. Um, a lot of experiences out there and sometimes you may think you know all the answers, but usually the answers are the people that uh, understand the process better than you. So when you come up with a, a problem, you ask them what's your idea of a solution to this problem and you'll be surprised. Uh, you may get the best solution other than what you might think it is. Well, working at Hoffer, uh, as far as what helped me achieve, is learn to be a little more patient. Uh, again, dealing with a lot of people, different personalities. Uh, it's not just here at Hoffer, it's just in life in general. So as you, know, as you get older, you get to learn to be a little more patient with others. Why should a kid consider career manufacturing? 
Um, you probably hear in the news a lot of manufacturing going overseas and slowly but surely uh, you're seeing a lot more coming back to uh, stateside here in the United States or the Americas if you will and it is important uh, to keep our local economies going so uh, manufacturing is important uh, to keep the economy going um, our industry and uh, livelihood. Well, one of the things we work on here is uh, we try to give the customer a solution, for example, uh, a metal to plastic conversion. And here in my hand is a plastic uh, carburetor uh, that used to be cast and then machined to specifications where now we've helped uh, with collaboration with the customer, uh, created a, a carburetor basically out of plastic, uh, a high temperature uh, engineered uh, material, which is in this case nylon polyamide 6 and uh, you basically you'll see these in uh, many of the uh, small engines in, in the industry and around your house. My name is Sarah Landgraf and I work for Bison Gear and Engineering. I'm a district sales manager and I'm responsible for the eastern half of the Midwest and I have states such as Indiana, Ohio, Michigan, Western Pennsylvania, West Virginia and Kentucky and my responsibility is overseeing accounts in those states. So whether it be new accounts or existing accounts, I, I basically manage them and look for new opportunities, uh, see whether they have new applications which our product can be used in. I went to high school at Crystal Lake South in Crystal Lake, Illinois, and after that I ended up uh, going to Henry County College uh, up in the Crystal Lake area, and then after that I ended up transferring out to Northern Illinois University where I got my degree in mechanical engineering. What drew me to engineering was I, I had this really big fascination with math all growing up, and I found that in a lot of the, uh, in a lot of classes that they would do tests to find out you know where, where your specialties were where your interests really could bring you it's that constant question that you have it's what do you want to be when you grow up so there was all these questions they'd, they'd give us throughout all different age groups and it always pointed towards engineering and I found that engineering really really suited me I've always been a very very technical person I was always uh, my mom will probably make fun of me for this but I was always that kid that took apart everything in the house and was trying to find out how it worked and how it would be put back together and how to make it bigger, better, and stronger. So I, I started in, uh, at Bison, I actually started in our application engineering group right out of college. Actually I was still in college fi finishing up um, my last few semesters. I absolutely loved it. So basically you, you end up getting assigned a project. You get to quote it, you get to prototype it, you actually get to build the product hands on. And then you end up uh, presenting it to the customer and from there you find out uh, if, it, if it's actually going to work. And the nice thing is you actually get to see basically from, from start to finish uh, a final project and, and see, see it in the application. Um, and I just realized that in the application engineering department that I really, really liked being able to actually see the full solution being presented to a customer. So, and I like working with customers as well. As I, I'm a very personal type of person. I could probably talk all day long. Um, but I would end up talking to a lot of the customers directly and just, you know, finding out what it is that they actually need. And I found that with, with interactions like that, that I, I kind of wanted to uh, give, give the sales role a chance just because I could actually then go and visit the customers and actually see the application prior to even designing it. So that way I actually got an even broader spectrum of how to actually incorporate our product in with theirs to be able to end up with one final solution. Well, that's the fun thing about my, my position, is there's no such thing as a, a typical day. Um, basically, I, I've got many different things that, I, that encompass my position. So I could be traveling out to Pennsylvania one day. I could be in the office uh, answering questions or developing a new product, um, entering in specs, talking with our engineering group, or working with our manufacturing department, talking about something that the customer wants to improve. So. I like the versatility of the job because it's not that repeat, get up in the morning, do this, eat that whole eat, sleep, drink. It's, it's every day is a new day and I, I truly enjoy that about this position. So um, one of the things that I got the, the pleasure of working on was kind of a, a fun application. It's kind of like for a, for a snow cone machine. There's a company that I was working with and what they were making is similar to an ice ice cone machine, um, they made snow cone machines. So their whole um, 
want was that they had a 10 pound block of ice that they wanted to be able to shave in like a minute. So basically I was talking with um, one of the people at, at the end customer and you know finding out okay well you know what what does your shaft need to look like how much torque does it need to have how fast does it need to, sp to spin what type of special cord sets do you need on it and finding out truly what the customer's need was and putting all of that information together and developed one product to be able to actually accomplish this. As far as being a female in engineering, to be honest, I've always kind of been, been the, the black sheep or I always joke around because I, I call myself the purple sheep because I, I'm that so far out of the spectrum. I've always been interested in, in male, uh, male dominated hobbies, interests, um, career choices. Um, to be honest, I, I'm a huge automotive nut as well. I'm also into to, to modifying uh, vehicles as well. You, you have your, your people who just don't believe it, and I, I used to get people all the time, especially in the automotive industry, that would be, oh, so uh, is that your boyfriend's car? And I would always joke around, and I'm like, yeah, um, his car's over there, but this is my car. Um, so you get a lot of that also, too, in the, the engineering world. And you, you do have to work harder, and regardless in any situation, it doesn't really matter whether you're male or female, if you can speak intelligently about what it is that you do or what it is that you know, you're going to get the credit. And to be honest also too, being a female in engineering, if you can actually speak that way, it's going to definitely take you places and you can just grow, grow within the company and just grow as a person as well. I have to say I really love, uh, with Bison, I really love the environment. Um, I couldn't have asked for, for a better position. I mean just coming into this job, first job out of school, it's a very family family-like environment. So it's just everybody that I work with, so whether it be um, people that are actually uh, in our office, which the majority of them have engineering backgrounds, which is absolutely awesome in my opinion, so I, I love to be able to actually to speak with them on that. Um, but even the people in the, the back of the shop, it, it's just, it's all like one big family. We work great as a team, so I've always been able to go around to, to people in each debar department and just say, hey, you know, I'm having this issue with this, can you help me out with this? And I don't get a lot of pushback, which I absolutely love. So, I mean, it's, it's really, truly a great team here. I've been riding my bike for probably about 10 years now. I'll admit I'm a little bit of a frugal type of person, so not only do I get awesome gas mileage on the bike, um, there, there's something also, too, about having that kind of freedom around you. There, there's kind of that, that open space. Um, so it, it has a completely different feel to it, to be honest, between riding a bike and, and driving your car. I mean, it's just, it's, it's something that's, it's, it's hard to describe, but uh, to be honest, I mean, it, it definitely has a thrill to it, uh, combined with great gas mileage. <laughs> So what I would tell people that are interested in getting into to manufacturing, I mean, if you're a very hands-on technical type of person that just likes to be able to actually create something, um, it really does give you a sense of accomplishment that at the beginning of your day you start off with something that isn't done and you can build something or create something or design something or even sell something and, and hand it off and at, basically your end result is a happy customer which is awesome to be able to have.